good? Yep. I'm Conway Lynch. I'm not really an expert on the lantern flies, but I have a platform. And just like any other Pennsylvania resident, I've been personally affected by these things. Uh, I wrote this article, the top five solutions to the spotted lantern fly invasion. Now, it's not necessarily, you know, a real thing. It's kind of satire, but I thought that that was the best way to bring this problem to the public's eye was through comedy. So like I, I say here that maybe we should all just switch our majors at Kutztown to uh, biology so that we can study it and create some sort of uh, killing, I don't know, uh, environmental herbicide. But um, that's not very serious, but I think we really aren't doing enough about these things. They're actually like coating trees, like covering them. And they say it's just the tree of heaven, the Atlantis tree or whatever it's called. But that's not, I don't think that's true because I look around and they're not only on trees, they're all over buildings. I just came over to a buddy's house the other day and it's coated in these disgusting bugs to the point where I'm like crushing them with my boots and getting their guts all over me. I slammed one this morning. Uh, it's bad for the environment because they destroy trees and not only trees, but cash crops like grapes and vineyards are getting annihilated by these things. One of my friends from back home, uh, he who shall not be named, Jonah, but um, yeah, Jonah worked at a vineyard and he actually had to get certified like through the state on the control of these things. Cause it's not just like smashing them or trying to do something about them. The fact is Pennsylvania, Berks County is in a, a quarantine zone and these will leave the quarantine and we see right now how badly and how quickly they can reproduce. And if they leave the quarantine, it's not just gonna be Berks, it's gonna be the whole state and then the whole country, I guarantee it. But what we really need to focus on right now is cleaning off cars before we leave the uh, county. And that means like uh, go to a car wash. You can do it by hand, but really go to a car wash because you want to get under the chassis and everything. Because they lay their egg sacs on really, not just trees, not just rocks, but really anything, buildings, cars, you name it. And that one female, one female lanternfly can lay eggs to about a hundred of them. So pretty devastating. I think the worst case scenario if we don't really treat the lanternfly invasion is probably just a takedown of our entire agriculture. Like we could lose, we're already losing, I would say millions of dollars in our grapes and I don't really know exactly what other crops they're affecting, but I'm sure it's affecting a lot of fruit and probably corn because like you said, you see them on everything that grows out of the ground. I think the best thing we could do is probably outfit people with flamethrowers. I said that in here as a joke, but at this point, I'm pretty serious. I've seen a video on Facebook with a couple thousand views and this dude has a propane tank and is just gassing this tree with the flame and it seems effective. I mean, I've seen moms out there, my mom personally, out there with her Dawn dish detergent mixed with water, not gonna cut it. We need flamethrowers. Well, yeah, I, I'm a staff writer for the Keystone, probably the only satire writer here at Kutztown. I kind of cornered the market. I write pretty stupid stuff, but I think it's kind of funny and I spend some time on it. So if you feel like it, check it out or add me on Facebook. I share it there or Twitter. Conway is cool.